answering. What secrets do these data banks contain?
I'll get straight to it, since you've come such a long way. Under the direction of Smythe, you were abducted, hauled off to a lab and experimented on. They would have killed you afterwards. But due to unforeseen circumstances, you survived. Those very same unforeseen circumstances brought us together. With my insight and your dedication, we can take Smythe out of the picture forever. Any questions? It seems that Smythe figured out I'm working against him. For some reason, he's keeping me alive. To what ends, I don't know. What I do know is that my operatives no longer follow orders. They refuse to let me leave this room. 
My only access to the outside world is that clone. The one who sent you here. He's a clone. A Flash clone, to be precise. I don't believe he has a name. They have serial numbers. People of his kind have incredibly short lifespans. After three years, they start to deteriorate. They're also prone to errors, most of which are noticed, and the clone is destroyed. But he has an error that has so far gone unnoticed. Free will. Most clones are obedient, biologically subordinate to their master. He has overcome this. Of course not. Smythe chose it. My name isn't the only thing he took from me. Nothing you haven't already figured out. I only met him once, and even then he was shrouded in darkness. Behind a glass screen, he tends to be elusive, even with his most loyal underlings. Fine. Perhaps I was holding back a little. I know they've been around for a very long time, and I'm talking pre-nuclear. Smyre's longevity has something to do with the Angel cloning technology. That's all I know. The plan is that we send Smythe to Kingdom Come. He'll be attending a tournament in Westminster. He actually plans to show his face in public. Can you believe it? At first, I couldn't. But everything checks out. All available information suggests he'll be there. This is unheard of. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to end his reign of suffering once and for all. He'll be up in the gentry box. You won't be able to get up there, but I have a straightforward solution. It's simple. Place an explosive device beneath the box, set a timed detonation, and watch the fireworks. He's spent lifetimes corrupting this city. He'd rather make London a crater than agree to step down. No, he's a parasite and should be treated as such. We must cut off the adder's head. Considering the state of the world, I had a good childhood. I was happy, in awe of the little things. In the outer ruins of Eastminster, there's a statue, some sort of dog. My parents took me to see it. Something about it brought me joy, pure and authentic joy. When they died, I was without guidance, without direction. That's when Smythe found me. At first, I was given simple, inoffensive initiatives. They became more sinister as he began to trust me. Smythe isn't a man you refuse. So, as time went on, I lost all semblance of humanity. I quite recently returned to that statue. It was nothing to me, just a chunk of stone. I oversee initiatives, mostly relating to psychology. I guess that's my specialty. That depends on your definition of innocent. The gentry are like children, yes, but only in the sense that they are shallow, spoiled, and pompous. They are diabolical. A servant up in that box is wealthier than all of Eastminster. Their pre-war utopia is built on the broken backs of innocent people, and without Smythe, they'd have nothing. Yet they reign, vain glorious across the wastes. Are you some kind of fool? You would forego the chance to rid the world of the man who caused you so much pain. Why? I'm disappointed you can't see past your moral purity. Many more people will die if Smythe remains alive. Fine. Your refusal means nothing. You won't stop this from happening. One way or another, Smythe will die at that tournament. A backup plan is already in motion. And I don't plan to stick around for the aftermath.
go quietly. You can count on that. Looking for a place to stay? Try the two Westminster chairmen. They're open to comment. Welcome, esteemed guests, to the most spectacular event of the year. Jousts, jewels, and archery, the finest of old world entertainments. I didn't quite see it. Hold it out for me. Just I'm me, Tiki. You are hereby invited to the 2076 Annual Socialist Conference. Blah, blah, blah. Bring your own refreshments. <laughs> I take it you don't have a ticket. Then I'm under no obligation to let you in, I'm afraid. All spectators must purchase tickets in advance. It's within my powers to make the occasional exception, yes. Though, of course, you'd have to do something for me first. Very reasonable, I'd say. The task shouldn't be too difficult. That robot, Guido, they call him. Protector on model. He is the bane of my existence. Really is. I've had enough of his pamphleteering. Makes some of the guests uncomfortable. Convince him to leave. <sighs> With all honesty, I'm not too sure. This is by far the oddest event I've greeted for. Supposedly, there's an important guest attending, but no one knows who. My first guest would be the Prime Minister. But then, why all the secrecy? Perhaps you can make him see the error of his ways. Try to sow a seed of doubt in his circuits. He is sentient, after all. Oh, also, try learning about the fifth column first. See what he'll tell you. How dare you accuse me of such a thing? I'm a professional. I'd sniff out an assassin from a mile away. Great. I'll let you through when the job's done. I do hope Father's proud of me. Greetings. I hope you're enjoying your evening. Please read this material when you have the time. A better future is possible, comrade. Back the fifth column. is everything the gentry isn't. We fight for the downtrodden, rather than the rich and powerful. We are the bastion of justice in these dark times. The glorious Eve Fanny, of course. Mistress is the paradigm of leadership. To restore London to its former glory and build a great and bountiful empire from its ashes. We are always recruiting, friend. Visit our headquarters on Cable Street. Fifty tickets. Guido isn't that cheap, bucko. Hiya. Higher! Reasonable. Your generosity is outstanding. Guido will return to his mistress. I can't believe you actually did it. Thank the Lord. As promised, you're free to go through. Oh, I watch out for those Camelot knights. They say a great army's been built down in Wandsworth. Wouldn't arrival the Tommies. And they're part of it, supposedly. Before you ask, I've never even heard of Camelot. A group of 
very bad people. Totally despicable, in fact. <sighs> I'm really bad at this. Just talk to us all. Patience is key, for the quest continues. Looking for a place to stay. If I see, keep walking. Trying to elevate your status by being seen with me? It won't work. I live in fear. And don't bother. I haven't heard. I don't sell the merchandise. Commoner, huh? talk to the lady. Questions. I heard she wanted to take someone under her wing. What's that smell? Oh. What's your business? Oh, what a great day. sell my merchandise to these gentry folk. Turns out, the really rich ones are in a completely different section. It's a shame. I bet they'd pay over the odds for these antiques. Not exactly. But no one's scared enough to stop me. Or well, they just haven't noticed me yet. Say I'd seen anything suspicious. Some bloke bought a load of explosives off me, but that's it. Not sure where they went. Top-notch oh, goods right here. Hey, let me see that. Oh. You're bothering me. Whatever it is, leave me out. Just... Stop, huh? Okay. I think you've mistaken me for someone else. Probably. Yeah. Tristan. <sighs> of course he did. He's never been very subtle. Bless him. Yeah, we're involved. We're building an army in Wandsworth, and with it, we'll take Westminster and destroy the gentry. Their so-called parliament is an insult to democracy. We will transform London into a true, representative democracy. We aren't officially on the gentry's radar. When they kicked us out of Eastminster seven years ago, they essentially forgot about us. They still haven't completed the paperwork necessary to redeclare us a threat. Bureaucrats. We're always looking for recruits. Go to the fort in Richmond Park. You can't miss it. An assassin? I think I saw someone go behind the gentry box. Good luck to them, I say. Wish me luck. I've got this tournament in the bag. Speak your mind. I'm not your friend. Whoever took Come down I don't ghostly know London you, eye needs a medal pinned on their chest. Look, just leave me alone. Oh, no. Whatever it is, keep it to yourself. Better that way. Don't 
do hope Father is proud of me. Don't bother. I haven't heard anything from Philip Costa Cotton like you. It's a vast world, and there's treasure to be found. Let's get exploring. It's a shame we meet like this, as adversaries. Yes, killing these people is probably immoral, but believe me, not doing it would be infinitely more so. The explosive device will detonate when the games begin. Don't try to disarm it. You'll only cause a premature detonation. And I don't need another death on my conscience. My death is coming soon. I can feel it. But at least I'll die a free man. And all I ask... Is it unburied in a free land? Do you have any idea what it's like to be created in a lab? I wasn't just born into slavery. I was born for it. Born to kill. Born with the knowledge that I was going to die within three years. My first assignment was in the angel slaughterhouses. I killed my siblings. Those who were at the end of their life cycle, I watched as they dissolved in acid, screaming. They could feel death. That's when it awoke within me. Free will. I've hated them ever since. Every day we wonder when it will happen. When the time will come to be thrown away and forgotten forever. At least I'm fortunate enough to do something about it. The others, they just can't bring themselves to hate their master. It doesn't matter if I can. I won't. Very well. Life at the top is immensely satisfying. Interested in some junk. I mean refreshments. I meant to say refreshments. Until next time. Thank you to the mates of Camelot for putting on such a great spectacle. from the head of the civil service. Salutations. It is with great sadness that I address the city in these troubling times. My thoughts are with the families of those who lost their lives in this tragic incident. And I'd like to declare a moment of silence. 
During times like these, it is the duty of civil service to ensure that tonight's events are not repeated. Therefore, we shall be stepping up to ensure the continuation of government services while this state of emergency is ongoing. Compliance with these groups is compulsory. If anyone has any questions or queries, please direct them to the office of the head of the civil service. Keep calm and carry on. Hey, old mate.
Ever vigilant. Hail, fellow. My respects to you. Your exploits are known here. Have you come to join us? That's what I like to see. Usually I send recruits to Merlin, but you'd be wasted as a levy. Go find Arthur. He'll know what to do with you. Speak your mind. Need help? What do you need? <laughs> Greetings. 